you walk into the store. You look around all the shelves for a movie or game that you would like to rent. You find something of your liking. You bring it to the front counter and the employee at the counter checks the movie out to you. They tell your due date and you're on your merry way. You're outside the store. Now as you exit the store you are aware that at a certain point in time you will have to return that movie or game. You know that certain item has a due date. Returning the certain item shouldn't be very hard. All you have to do is bring it back to the store that you rented it from on time within the time limit. Why is this process so hard? Why don't people do everything wrong? This short rant. Okay, it's not going to be so short. But this rant is going to reveal to you how such a simple process as returning an item can be turned into a malicious endeavor. causes nothing but problems. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Guidelines to Being a Customer, Returning Movies. Let's begin. Okay now, first of all, you know what this is. This is a blockbuster store. You rent a movie from the store, it goes back to that store. Let me tell you all a little story about an employee at a store that gets movies from another store because the customer would turn the movies to the wrong store. This employee is checking in movies. He finds movies from another store in his drop box. You know what that employee has to do? First of all, before, he had to call that store and tell them that they got the movie in. Second thing he has to do, he has to get an empty box. He has to take the movie, the said movie. I like classic movies. This is my, the better version of Planet of the Apes. But he has to get an empty box. He has to put the movie in there, close it up, and he has to package tape it closed. Put a shipping label on it and ship it to the other store. Now, you know what's really wrong with this process? Well, first of all, when you return to another store, you're still responsible for it. Yes, you are. Because you know why? Because you signed an agreement with that particular store to return the movies to the right place. That's what you did. That movie would, belongs to that particular store. The store can't do anything with it. They can't run out to anybody. It's useless to them. It goes back to the store. You got it from. And any late fees that you accrue from this process is your fault. If it gets lost in the mail, if the mailman decides to just take it for himself, or if a, let's say an employee decides to take it for himself, sneaks it out the store for himself, you're still accountable for it. You know why? Because you put that movie in that situation. You did that yourself. But you know, it's not just returning movies to a blockbuster that's a problem. People would turn our movies to the public library! Why would you take our movies and take it to the library? We had a lady come in, oh joy, I remember this night. She came in complaining, I got trotted on my account! I returned those movies! In this annoying, high-pitched, squealing voice! That would just shatter your eardrums. I pulled up her account. I said, well, ma'am, it looks like a fracture. And my super ex-girlfriend did not come back to our store. She, but I returned them. Well, where did you return them to? I'm thinking maybe she returned to another store. And I was going to call to the store and see if they actually didn't have it and sent it back to us yet. Which is, again, your fault. But... She says, I return them to the public library. I'm just like, ma'am, 
Why did you turn to the library? Because they have a drop slot there, and I'm sure that they'll send it back to you. First of all, the library. Why would you turn to the library? I really just wanted to yell at that woman so bad. So bad. But I couldn't. I wouldn't. Unless I was really, really frustrated and tired already. But by her logic, the library should have sent it to us, should have returned it to us. The library has no obligation to do that! You know what they do? They take off the label, they add it to their own inventory, and they put it up for rental! That's what they do! They don't care about us! I remember one time, <coughs> excuse me, one time we got mail from the library. They returned like five films to us. <laughs> but you know what? All those films were like months overdue. So we couldn't even do anything with them. They had to sit around that store in a special cabinet waiting for that customer to come back so they could pay for the film that they got charged the full price for because they returned it to the public library. But oh no, 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 it's not just our movies that get returned to the wrong place, oh no. If you guys watched any of my previous videos, I've told you about a, a joyous night in Blockbuster where I was emptying the Dropbox. And if you look at this screenshot, you'll see what's in my hand! Redbox movies. And they didn't come from the drops on the outside, oh no, where you can just drive up and you just get out your car, drop it in a slot, and all that. No. I would have felt a lot better if that was the case. These movies, these red box movies, two of them, dos, they were dropped into our in-store drop box. We have to come to the door in the store, waltz in, you see a job box there, you put it in, and you have to walk around all the way to get out the store. They came into the store and dropped it in. Red box. Oh. <laughs> There's no red in my store. Everything is blue. The blue blockbuster ticket. The blue shelves. The blue counters. Blue. Blue. Not red. Now, I know a, lo a lot of you are saying, well, that's kind of rude of you guys. Why did you just take it to the red box and return them? First of all, we know nothing. Nothing about red box. I think someone once said that you can return the red box movies to any red box. Okay, but in our shopping center, and around us, at other places, you know, maybe down the street, across the street. There is no red box! There is none! I think they might have one at the Walmart. Maybe. But it's red, but it's not a red box. It's something else. But the one closest to us is a blue box from some company. I don't know. But there's nothing we can do with those movies. Nothing! We just put it in a drawer, just waiting for the idiot, the dummy, that would turn it to our store. We wait for him to come back and say, I think I dropped some Redbox movies here. <laughs> but we didn't get anyone to do that, so we still have them. And I tried the Redbox once before, and I'll do that for another video, tell you my experience, but they said on the Redbox that they will charge you a dollar a day, up to 29 days for that particular movie. The guy would turn two. 29 plus 29. Add that up. 
$58. 58 bucks for two movies that are retailed at $19.99. You see, when you mistake Redbox and Blockbuster, you're going to pay the price. Redbox just shoved a giant dildo straight up your anus for a movie that they nearly charge you double for. That still baffles me to this day. How they came into the store and returned those movies.